Has Diablo 4 Season 5 been saved? A lot of content creators were invited to the Blizzard headquarters this week where they got to test the new class, Spiritborn. And during that conversation, apparently a lot of the content creators were given some notes specifically to what's coming down the pipe in Season 5. Now, not everything has been shared, but some content has been shared as far as new updates coming to Season 5. So in this video, we're going to look at what was shared with some of these content creators and will it potentially turn around and save season five now before we get into that i want to say that a lot of you continue to watch my content but yet do not subscribe if you can find it in your heart to hit the subscription button i would really appreciate the support and help my content get to more eyes and ears please if you can find it in your heart to hit the subscription button i would really appreciate it okay now first of all i want to give a big props to don the crown for giving us this information um i'm going to link this video on the screen in the link in the video description so you can watch its full content you can also in his link get the document that i'm going to refer to that has all the information that was shared to him when he was at the blizzard headquarters and also if you could like the video and if you want to subscribe to his channel, please support Don the Crown. Don, thank you very much for this information. Let's get into it. Okay, so here is basically all the changes that the Diablo 4 dev team shared with the content creators that they get, that they invited to the Blizzard headquarters. And I am not going to cover all this information that Don was kind enough to share with his community and on YouTube, but I will highlight some of the things that I think are very key to what was shared with them. And first off, if you thought season four, it was quick to level to 100, well in season five, it's gonna be even quicker. And that's through XP from monsters typically have been capped. Well, they are now in season five, they're going to be uncapped. So there is going to be a 1.5% buff to XP per level difference from your player. So XP from monster level has always been capped. So this makes it extremely Extremely more quicker to level. Imagine that. And Hell Tide is also getting a change in the sense. One of the big ones that I want to highlight is the fact that Profane Mind Cage, which we all love. And if you don't know what the Profane Mind Cage is, it basically, when you're in a Hell Tide event, if you use a Profane Mind Cage, it increases the level of the monsters that you're fighting by 10 levels, which is in essence, what you're really doing is you're increasing and buffing the XP you're getting because the monster levels are now 10 levels higher than your player level. So number one, Profane Mind Cages are staying in Helltide for season five. And also they can now be stacked times three, three times, which basically means that if you stack three mind cages while running a Helltide event in season five, in essence, you are getting potentially 30% more XP. Again, adding to making the leveling process way quicker. So if you thought leveling to 100 was quick in season four, we already have two things coming in season five that is going to make it even quicker quicker so we could potentially see players that grind this game literally getting to 100 in one day that is unbelievable probably seven eight nine hours uh crazy so again way quicker to to level up your character in season five due to these two mechanics that i mentioned enchanting another big w enchanting items no longer we require angel breath which is a huge w good on blizzard for uh, recognizing that okay where are we here um there are a ton a ton of infernal horde changes and um the reward chests at the end require less so here you can here you can see here's what the old cost was 
here's what the new cost was for greater affix items, gear, and uh, materials. Um, so really the rewards opening those chests at the end of the infernal horde event is going to cost us less another big w also world bosses are getting a new mechanic or a, a new thing they're going to have resilience okay and when it comes to world bosses we've kind of all laughed at how much of a joke they are you literally breathe on them and and they're gone dead um so apparently this new resilience in bosses is going to make them potentially more difficult to fight so i would imagine it's going to take longer to defeat them so another another good step forward as we know the world bosses in diablo 4 like i said you literally breathe on them and they die so the fact that they're recognizing that and trying Trying to make it a more fun and engaging activity again is another step in the right direction so good on them there are a ton a ton of class changes and there's one that i'm going to hone in on just specifically it's a class that i like to play and if you watch my content you already know what that is but basically if i can sum it up in one sentence we know the barb and I would even put the rogue, but more so the barb uh, is like up here, uh, you know, barb rogue, and then all the other classes are like down here. So I gather from what I've read in Don's notes here, uh, the fact what they're doing and what what I mean by they, I mean what Blizzard is doing uh, for the, the Diablo 4 dev team is doing is they're basically bringing down the barbarian specifically and and i'll put in the rogue there as well so they're bringing them down and they're bringing up and elevating the other classes so they all hopefully will be all on a level playing field and at the end of the day how can someone mock that when you have class balance that's really i think a, another good step forward with them trying to improve the game. Because at the end of the day, a good game has more than one build and one class that is good. So the fact that they have recognized that and, and are balancing everything looks like on paper that it's going to be another W. So unfortunately for the Barbarian players, if you main that, you're going to see a little dip. Uh, in your performance so your one second boss fights are now going to be three seconds sorry um, but all the other classes are kind of hopefully like I said this is on paper we have to see exactly how it's going to pan out in season five but it looks like they're balancing all the classes I'm not going to get into them Barb is getting a buff like I said everything else outside of the uh, the sorry the Barb and the Rogue uh, the Druid, the Necromancer, and the Sork, uh, which I'm going to talk about because it's my favorite class. It's a class I love to play in Diablo 4. It's getting a huge, huge buff. So Druid is getting a buff. And all these uniques, as you can, say, you can see here, um, really good, really good. And then we get to the Sork, which is getting... <laughs> wow sork is getting it looks like sork is finally finally gonna be playable and enjoyable basically again i'm summarizing everything i don't want to get down into the weeds if you want to get down into the weeds go to don's video which is going to be in the description and watch his video he does a great job at explaining everything and if you really want to get deep 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 into every line item here go watch his video and don't forget to like the video please support his content it takes a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of effort to create content so please if you're going to watch this video at least like the video and uh subscribe if you can okay so the sork <laughs> all core and mastery damage is going to be increased 15 to 20 percent combined with all the stat increases outlined in don's uh video um video and document here this is 50 percent more damage for sorks hello freaking oh my god so 
it looks like Sork is going to be viable again. Sork is going to be great again. <laughs> oh my God. So here are all the changes. And again, go watch Don's video. Like it if you really want to get into every... Uh, he covers every line item, basically. Uh, we got these Codex of Powers. There's these uniques. Um, the blue rose, which Don does a great explanation on what this is going to do, is going to be off the charts. Um, so I know I'm going to take a deep dive into all these changes and I'm going to figure out which Sork build I'm going to play. Um, so I revert back to the original question that started off this video. Is season five saved? Now, we don't know everything that's coming down the pipe. We uh, Don was given this information, and there's more information coming regarding season five. Now, we are 24 hours out away from the Spiritborn class reveal, which the Diablo 4 dev team are going to do a live stream tomorrow. Uh, so excited to see the new class and how that is going to play. Apparently, they're going to be doing it from the Xbox Studios, uh, which is insane. I've seen some of the some of the background that's going to be involved and the huge screen that they're using looks really amazing. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be a really fun and interactive uh, live stream. So can't wait for that. And I, um, I don't think they're going to share much about season five, but we'll see. I would imagine they are going to have a separate live stream just on everything else season five. So let me know your thoughts after hearing everything that I've covered today. And if you go and watch Don's video again, please make sure you like it. Um, that do you think season five has changed? Can they turn that needle because let's face it, probably a month ago, three weeks ago, the rhetoric around season five was not good. Now they've gotten the PTR feedback. It looks like they're addressing a lot of the concerns that were raised to them. So let me hear your thoughts. Let me hear your comments. Are you playing season five? Uh, I would love to hear it. All right. And come on, come and check out my live streams on Twitch, my channel name is Sammy Caps. I live stream every evening, 7, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Would love to have you come over and say hello. All right, let me hear your comments on and your thoughts on all this new content that's coming to season five. Will it save season five? Let me know. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.